all right in this quick tutorial i'm going to show you what compound clips are and how to go about it with practical examples in CapCut pc all right guys let's get started and this video is brought to you by my homies on patreon if you want to support this channel and be part of my patreon you can check on the link in the description box below Compound clips allow you to group multiple video, audio, image or other media clips together into a single nested clip. This makes it easier to manage and apply effect transitions or color grading to the multiple clips at once. To make it simple, think of it this way. You go to the grocery store to buy 10 or more items and you try to carry all of them in your hands. It becomes very difficult to manage, right? Now imagine having all the items in one basket or one bag. Suddenly, it becomes very easy to manage and carry around. And that's what compound clips are like. Now let's get into CapCut PC to show you how to create compound clips and how to use them. So to create compound clips, all you have to do, bring. let me bring one video in drop these two videos so all you have to do is just right click on the video and select create compound clip or also you can just click on that video option g for the shortcut keys for compound clips also you can select multiple clips images and also audio at the same time and make a compound clip of all of them so example like this select all of them option plus g to create a compound clip of all the media in the timeline and through that it also helps keep the timeline cleaner one thing about compound clips too you can double click and it will take you right inside that compound clip to do some necessary adjustments if you want to if you don't have this feature you need to update your software then you can click on this arrow and it's going to take you back to the main timeline and if you want to get the individual clips back this is what you do just right click on that and select undo compound clip and it's going to bring all of them back in the main timeline also let me go back and show you also you can use the shortcut keys shift option or alt plus g and it's going to bring all the individual clips back so with this example i have all my video clips in the timeline and i want to have a continuous zoom in on all of them all you have to do is just select all of them option plus g to create a compound clip of it then take your playhead to the starting frame make sure you select the compound clip then make a keyframe on scale take your playhead to the last but one frame and increase the scale size of it and now when you play and look at it it's going to play and continue very smoothly so with this practical example as you can see i have videos on top of each other creating the layers and they are on the screen i just reduce the scale size of it and if i want to apply an effect to it directly to all of them all i can do is just select all option plus g to create a compound clip of it then i can just go to effect select a random effect i want to add to it drag and drop on the compound clip so now when you look at it, it's going to affect all the videos inside that very compound clip. So also if I want to transition to this very next clip, these are all the clips in this very compound clip. Let me break it down so you see. If I want to transition to this one, it's going to be very difficult if I do it on the individual clip. So with this compound clip, it's going to make it easy to group all of them together. Option G. Then I can easily go to transitions bring a random transition in drag and drop on this very side then when you play it's going to transition from all these video clips to the next clips and this is going to make it very clean and easy to handle with a third practical example let's say if i want to use this compound clip again in the timeline all i have to do is just command c to copy or i can use option and drag upwards to make a duplicate of it then I can take it to wherever in the timeline that I want to use the same compound clip and with this it's going to save you a lot of time. Also if your timeline is really long, let's say if you're editing on one hour timeline, you can easily right click on this compound clip, then go to save presets and now when you go to the left side of the software, click on devices on the drop down menu then click on my presets then from here you can see the compound clip that i receive as a preset right on this side so on this side you just drag and drop in the timeline so just imagine you have a one hour timeline 
instead of scrolling to the very place to find that very image or the compound clip you can easily be saving them here and dragging in the timeline to save you lots of time and there are a few other ways of also making use of compound clips when it comes to video editing now you can click on this playlist to learn more about CapCut PC alright guys catch you on the next one peace